What's going on YouTube, Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more Regulation D teams for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing a fan favorite, one of my favorite Pokemons of all time. We got ourselves a Greninja team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, definitely consider becoming a member. You get sub badges next to your name. You get a bunch of emotes, plus you get some awesome perks for the channel. So huge shout out to all my members, you guys. You guys are the real ones, but this team right here was actually sent by a fan. Damien, thank you so much for sending this team. Super excited to be using it and making a video with it. But first Pokemon that we have for today's team preview is the one and only Greninja. It has Protean as its ability and the Focus Sash as its item. It's got Water Shrekken for first and priority and Stab. Then we got Hydro Cannon for massive stab damage, Ice Beam, and Dark Pulse for another stab hitting move. Cannot wait to use that Pokemon and just get ripping on the ladder with it. Amoongus is going to be our second Pokemon, lovely little support mon for any single team. It's got Regenerator, the Citrus Berry as item, Rock and Rage Powder, Palm Puff, Spore, and Clear Smog. Tornadus is in our third slot, and you guys are going to be seeing plenty of Tornadus, considering this is probably the best Tailwind Center in the game, right? It's taken over Murkrow, you probably will not see Murkrow anymore once Regulation D comes out, and Tornadus is just going to be on the field at all times. He's got Prankster, he's got the Covert Cloak as item, Tailwind, Air Slash, Bleak Wind Storm, and Taunt. Loving this moveset for this Pokemon. Iron Hands is in our 4 slot, and Iron Hands is going to be pretty solid at faking out Pokemon and being very strong in the Trick Room. He has Quirk Drive and the Assault Vest, Rock and Fake Out, EQ, Drain Punch, and Wild Charge. In our fifth slot, bottom left hand corner, we got the boy Cleavor, who I just showcased in my last video. And Cleavor is an absolute unit. High, high physical attack stat. He can really deal some big time damage. Plus, it has Stone Axe, which is its signature move, which can allow us to put Stealth Rocks onto the opposing field. He also has Trailblaze, X Scissor, and Protect, and then Rock in the Clear Amulet as its item. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the boy. It is going to be Golden Go. Good as gold and the Air Balloon adds its item and ability. And the moveset is pretty straightforward and pretty solid. It is Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, Protect, and Make It Rain. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Mount the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder and showcase Grand Ninja for Regulation D. We're loading up match number one. If you guys have Regulation D teams for me, leave them in the comment section down below or DM me over on Twitter. I would love to get my hands on all different types of teams and all different Pokemon for Regulation D so I can use them on my YouTube channel. So again, if you guys have teams, get them over to me as soon as possible. Super excited to showcase Grand Ninja Day. Definitely still looking for a Charizard team because I know a lot of you guys want to see some Charizard. But uh, when's this match going to load up? There it is. I was going to say, casual matches usually uh, take rather quickly to load up. But let's see who we're going up against. Hopefully something pretty cool. And yes, it's something really, really cool. Got Tornadus, Reggie Draco. That's terrifying right off the rip. I'm kind of scared of that. They also have Enamorous, Urshifu, Regilecki, and King Gambit. This team, it's a big time problem. It's a big time problem. Let's check my boy's stats. He is just boosting special attack with 170. And speed's rather high too. Pokemon that I have that I will have a problem with is going to be Regilecki. So I gotta definitely lead Tornadus though. And kind of lead something to try to get rid of uh Regilecki, right? Regilecki a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem. And I don't really know how I can go about it. And I could go Iron Hands and just start EQing. That's not a bad call. I kinda like that. So I'm gonna bring in them too. I am gonna go Gren Ninja in the back end alongside with either Cleaver or Golden Go. We need another attacker. And Cleaver's pretty solid. His defense is rather low, and Golden Go's not too bad. I kind of might just want to go Golden Go. Especially with them having Enamorous out there. I think this is a good Pokemon to bring. So I'm going to bring Golden Go. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's, let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But again, it's going to be tough because they can lead Regilecki and Tornadus or Regilecki and, or Reg, and Reggie Draco. Both of them together, like any of the Reggies with Tornadus, really get some work done. It's kind of tough to play up against, right? Regilecki, you guys are going to be seeing all over the rank ladder. Like, Regilecki's top tier. He's top tier. He's the fastest Pokemon in the game, and he's just crazy strong. But they're going to go with the Reggie Draco and the Tornadus here. So they're going with these two. Um, I highly doubt he has Covert Cloak. Do we think he has Covert Cloak? I could Tailwind, or I could just, like, go for, like, a Bleak Wind Storm. I do a Flying Terror here as well, which is not bad. But I'd rather just... You know, I'd rather get some damage off here. I might terrestrialize you. Just get off as much damage as I can. This can slow them down. So, you know, what? I'm going to go for Bleak Wind Storm. And I'm just going to fake out the Reggie Draco. 
So I'm just gonna fake that thing out. I wanna get off as much damage as I can. I'm not trying to take too much damage from him. So we get off some nice damage. Any speed drops? Speed drops would be lovely. There's one on Reggie Draco. That's big time for us. And we do not get one off on him. But he's gonna end up landing a bleak windstorm on us. No speed drops? Cool, no speed drops and Reggie Draco flinches for the turn. Alright, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. So now I'm just gonna go straight into a tailwind. And I think I'm just gonna wild charge and take you out, right? I think that's fine. I think I'm cool with that. Because Reggie Draco's minus one. It's minus one on speed. That's big time. So if I can just get rid of this tornado, that'd be big time. So I go for a tailwind of my own. Hopefully he's not going for a tailwind. I would be surprised if he doesn't. And he does. So we match energy here. This is exactly why I lit a tornado. But we already did damage to Reggie Draco, so his dragon, uh, dragon energy would not be able to kill us or do some big time damage. The wild charge flies out here. We get rid of you, and I feel like from here my tornadoes can finish off that Reggie Draco, and my Iron Hands can just get some work done, right? I'm gonna take some recoil damage, so I think we're fine. I think we're fine because once we, uh, as long as he doesn't have Regilecki, I feel like this game's like it's ours, right? I don't know. It's gonna be close. We're definitely gonna be kind of close. So I can see him terrestrializing here for sure, right? But I, I want to save my terrestrialization. I'll go for a bleak wind storm, and you know what? I'm just gonna go for. I'm gonna go for a wild charge. I'm gonna go straight after Earth. So our lead was actually pretty solid. More so, our plays were pretty solid. Fake out the Reggie Draco, deal damage before we set up a tailwind. It was a pretty smart play. So he ends up terrestrializing probably the Earth if any Pokemon. And he's gonna get after it this way. Always gotta remember that Re uh, that Earth can hit through protect, so could be a little bit of an issue. We'll see how this plays out here. I'm kind of kind of looking to get this. Oh, you go for an Aqua Jet. Into, okay, Tornadus. And we survive that. So we are thriving here. Because we're going to get rid of Urshifu here. We're actually going to pick up a double KO. And wow, this team's just thriving in match number one. I didn't even need Greninja, right? He's going to cancel battle after this. He's going to cancel battle. Because you're dead. Get on out of here. We don't need Greninja. Even though I want to bring in Greninja. Looks like we're not even using it here in match number one. Just absolutely dominating our opponents with Iron Hands and Tornadas. Shows the power of the scene, though. So we'll see who his final Pokemon is. It could be Regilecki. I'd be surprised if it's Regilecki, though, right? It's Gambit. All right, yeah, we got this match on lock. On lock. So from here, I guess I'll just go for an Air Slash because we can get a chance to flinch. And then on top of that, we'll just throw a Drain Punch this way. Our opponent definitely cancels. Yep, they cancel. We sweep in match number one. We do not get to bring out Grand Ninja, but I promise you guys, we'll be using them in match number two. Second match is on its way, and we're going up against an Ursa Luna Trick Room team. So I'm definitely going to have to be, be bringing Iron Hands yet again. I definitely want to bring uh, Greninja. Amoongus could also be pretty solid with this team. So I'm going to lead the Greninja. We're going to get after it that way. And I'm also going to lead the Iron Hands. Fake Out is going to be powerful. It's going to be great for us, and we can really get ripping with it. So I'm going to go in with both of them and then go from there. So Iron Hands, Greninja. We'll bring Amoongus because Amoongus is phenomenal in Trick Room. And then probably Golden Go, right? Yeah, I like Golden Go. I do really like Golden Go, so I'm going to go in with that. But Ursa Luna Trick Room teams are absolutely phenomenal. I was testing one out on the casual ladder, and Ursa Luna is top tier. I got an Ursa Luna video coming for you guys very, very soon. But I want to showcase Greninja before that, because Greninja's a dog, and everybody loves Greninja. But yeah, that first match, we just completely swept them. I was expecting to use Greninja coming in the back end and just clean up the mess. But Iron Hands and Tornadus did all the work. No problem whatsoever. Super surprised at that considering they had a very strong team with Reggie Draco and Tornadus as lead. We just made some great calls, faked out, did some damage, and just went after it that way. But I definitely could see Hatterene being a lead here. I think Hatterene's an easy lead. If they lead like Rillaboom or Amoongus, I might just Protean swap into Ice-type. And start shooting ice beams because that could be really really good really depends what they do really depends but why does Rillaboom sprite look so weird like his hands are so big the other sprite looks so much cooler and sword and shield he just looks a little weird same thing with like urshabu kind of looks a little weird in this game but let's get grand ninja out here i'm super excited to be using this pokemon it's just so cool they did nerf him because protean did get nerfed but it'd be like that sometimes so Hatterene and Gargonacle do come out here. Okay, so Hatterene could go for a Trick Room. I might just target that Pokemon down. Might double down into Hatterene. I'm not even going to lie here. Might double down right into Hatterene. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to fake it out. I'm going to fake out Hatterene. Yep, Gargonacle protects. He's looking to get off Trick Room. He's looking to get off Trick Room. I'm not going to allow it. I simply won't. I simply will not. 
So we get off a decent amount of damage, plus we get the flinch, and Dark Pulse is going to come out here, and we're in a hard swap into Dark type, which is big time, and get off some nice damage. I think it's Covert Cloak. Of course it is. Lovely. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. This thing to be Covert Cloak. And now I'm Dark type. This is just, this is just perfect, right? It's just perfect. I think I'm just going to swap into Amoongus. Swap my Greninja, um, and then just Drain Punch? Do I finish somebody off? Um... I think I'm just gonna wild charge to get rid of Hatterene. That's kind of tough. That's so tough. This thing's covert cloak. If I would have known that, I would have just ripped wild charge. I probably should have just ripped wild charge, right? I probably should have just done that. So out comes the gleam. Iron Hand's gonna take some damage. And we'll see what they want to do from here. He's just gonna salt cure my Moongus. Okay. I'm fine with that. Moongus is chilling. He's chilling. The wild charge now flies. Gonna get rid of the Hatterene, which is big time. And Ursaluna's probably gonna come out here. And if that's the case, Ursaluna's definitely gonna protect. So I might just heal up, uh... I might just heal up my... My Iron Hands. So let's see who that goes into, though. Very curious. It's gotta be Ursaluna, right? It's gotta be Ursaluna. Let me Rillaboom. Okay, I don't mind Rillaboom. I don't really mind Rillaboom. I do not. I could Palm Puff get off some big time damage. I could Rage Powder here too. But I think it's more so my play. It's just Rage Powder and Drain Punch. For some HP back. And then we'll kind of go from there. Cool. He fakes me out. I totally forgot that. That Pokemon learns fake out. And then we Rage Powder. He's probably looking to go for another Salt here. That's fine. Amoongus can soak it up. Um, hmm, We are wasting out tricking pretty well here. We are wasting out tricking pretty well. I do get some HP back, which is big time. Gonna neglect some of the salt cure damage. And from here, I'm just gonna drain punch Gargle Knackle, get some HP back, and probably just Rage Powder again. I think that's my play. And looky what we got. I totally forgot about that. That's the best feeling ever when you forget about your berry and it comes in clutch. Love it. So from here, another Rage Powder is gonna be your best friend, and I'm just gonna rip into it yet another drain punch. Just keep chunking up damage. Wasting out these tricking turns. I got two very good Pokemon in the back end that can do a lot of work. And that are high on speed. And I think they nerfed Rillaboom too because he does not learn Grassy Glide anymore. Which was why he was so strong in Sword and Shield. Because he could set the terrain and then have first turn priority with Grassy Glide. So they did nerf my boy a little bit. But I, I'm actually very happy because that Pokemon was ridiculously strong. So we end up Rage Powder and that's just for the Gargle Knackle. Obviously, Rillaboom's not going to be affected by it, but I just don't want a Salt Cure going on my Iron Hands at this point. The Drain Punch now flies. Half in damage. That's that's big time. Big time half damage, and we'll go up to almost full. Look at us go. Look at us. Wasting out these Trick turns. Wood Hammer's going to fly here. That's fine. We're able to soak. So we soak, and he takes Recoil. Okay. So now the real call is, do I Drain Punch into that thing again? Or do I Pollen Puff and go after... I could go after Rillaboom here. I could go after Rillaboom with a Pollen Puff and a... Uh, and a Drain Punch. That is a pretty good option for us. So I'm really leaning towards. What would do more damage? Pollen Puff would. I think I'm all about it. I think I'm all about it. So I'm going to go Pollen Puff and I'm going to double down into this thing. Because I think Gargonacle might even protect here too. Or he might even Thrasalize the Ghost. I know it has Ghost Terrors for the most part. And he ends up protecting. So we make the good read there. That's a big time read for us. Big time read. Palm Puff now flies over onto you. Chipping off some big time damage. Iron Hands. Finish off this Rillaboom. What do you have? Weakness Pop? Eject Button. Eject Button. Cool. So he ejects out. And Ursa Luna's going to come out here. Which this is actually huge. <laughs> it's normal typing. This might even KO it. Nah, he's pretty bulky. He's really bulky. So Iron Hand's getting some HG back. I'm gonna get Grand Ninja back in here. We're slowly getting after it. Okay, so Rage Powder's gonna be our friend. Shrek Room should be gone, right? Or is it next turn? It's all clear chipping. We're playing well here. Definitely playing really well. There goes Trick Room. That kind of works for us. But Ursaluna is going to take a burn. 
But from here, Rage Powder 100%, and I want to chunk up some damage. I could go after Ursaluna, but I really got to start getting off some damage on the Gargoyle Knuckle. So let's see. Terra type is going to come out here. Please be to Ursaluna. I'd rather be to Ursaluna more than anything, and it is going to be Ursaluna. And the what? Normal? Straight ground. That's fine. I have my I have my Greninja in the back end. I have my boy Gren Gren in the back end. Wide guard does come out here. That's cool. What move do you think I was going for? Very confused on the wide guard. Very confused on the wide guard. Like, what double hitting move do I have? Very confused on the wide guard. We get back some mean HP here. And we're just going to go from here. EQ. Oh. That's why he wide guard. He wants to protect himself. Because he couldn't, because he protected last turn. Okay, that's actually a very smart play. Very smart play. My Pokemon are able to eat. And, huh. What do I do from here? I think I just let Amoongus die out here, right? Because Gargi probably protects. I think we just let Amoongus die out here. I think that's going to be my play all day. I think we just let Amoongus die out. Actually, Salt Cure, does it KO it? It does. Okay, that works out. That works perfectly. I kind of needed Amoongus to go so I could bring out my, my big time attackers. So now I can bring back out Grand Ninja. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I could go straight into Water Typing if I wanted to. I could start throwing Water Shrekens, but Water Shrekens doesn't do any crazy damage, right? I mean, I could just go Ice. That actually works perfectly. Ice Beam will take out you. We can Drain Punch into Gargle Knackle. Sitting in a pretty good position now. So that's actually, again, that worked out perfectly. Like, I needed Amoongus to get off the field. So now I can bring out my attackers and just clean up the rest of the Pokemon here. So Ice Beam's going to fly. We're going to Protean switch into lovely little Ice type. I love it. And we're going to take out Ursaluna. Let's go, Grand Ninja. Grand Ninja's here. He's here. He's here. Coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. Plus, he did some big time damage early on. So we do that. Drain Punch flies. We played that match too well. We wasted out Trick Room perfectly, getting Amoongus out there, all the good stuff. And on top of that, the cherry on top, our dude turns off his console. I love it. Making people rage quit. We're 2 0. Let's go hop into our third and final match. Use Grand Ninja a bit more and grab ourselves a perfect record. Final match on its way. And we're thriving with Grand Ninja. Definitely going to be using him here again. Probably going to be leading him because I really do like the, uh, the Pokemon that we're going up against. We're going up against a Tornadus. And what is that Pokemon even called? Uh, Tornas and Landorus team with Espathra, Sandy Shocks, Urshifu, and last but not least, Fluttermane. So we definitely need speed. I'm going to go Grand Ninja and Tornadus right off the rip, get them going. And then in the back end, Iron Hands can be clutch. Iron Hands has been great, so I'm going to bring Iron Hands. And finally, probably Cleaver, right? Cleaver's a dog. He's a beast. So I'm going to rock out with Cleaver. I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down, but... Loving this team so far, 2-0 with it, already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. And just having a bunch of fun with Greninja. Love this Pokemon, man. I kind of want to use a Hydro Cannon this match, right? Just dump some big damage, because it's base 150, stab. I could Terrasilize too, but Espathra and Sandy Shocks are going to come out here. Um, hmm. What's my player? Probably Tailwind, right? We got Tailwind, because this needs booster energy for special attack or speed. Speed, yeah, okay, so Tailwind's best friend. Tailwind is hands down our best friend. And I kind of just want to go into a Dark Pulse. And the reason I want to go into a Dark Pulse is because, like, obviously we can just, like, Hydro Cannon, Sandy Shocks down, but I'd rather change typing. Espanther might even protect. You know what? No, you know what? I'm going to go straight after him. And I'm just going to Tailwind. I don't think Espanther protects here. Cool. Sandy Shocks protects. Thinking I'm going after you. I'm Dark Pulsing into you. I'm Dark Pulsing the S-Panther. I want that thing gone. I want that speed boost ostrich gone. I want him out of here. So Grand Ninja ripping up, doing some big time damage, and saying, see you later, S-Panther. Oh, baby. <laughs> I love it. I love you, Grand Ninja. So now I could Terrasilize into... I could Terrasilize into water if I want to. Tornadus now comes out here. I have Sash. Um, I'm not going to waste my Terra. I'm just going to Hydro Cannon into... Sandy Shocks, because chances are he's going to go after my Greninja here. So from here, I'm just going to Bleak Wind Storm. Actually, I could Taunt you. I'm actually just going to Taunt Tornadus. 
yeah, I was gonna say, my taunt comes out here first. We outspeed this thing because we are Tailwind, so my prankster moves come out before his. Cannot Tailwind. Let's go. Let's go. Hydra Cannon now coming out here. We miss? Come on with that. Come on with that. Don't, what, what do you mean we miss? What do you mean we miss? What do you mean we miss? Uh, same thing. I'm just gonna go for another Hydra Cannon. And I guess I'll just Air Slash or I can Bleak Wind Storm. I'm gonna go for a Bleak Wind Storm. Try to drop some speed. What do you mean we miss? Sandy Shocks protects. That's totally fine. We have Sash already, which is cool. That really hurts the soul, man. We miss our Hydro Cannon. That was gonna be my play. That was my play. Now we chuck up some nice damage on the Tornado. Do we get a speed drop too? We do not. Hydro Cannon's gonna get blocked. And we'll still get after it. Leak Wind Storm coming out. That's fine. No speed drops on my Grand Ninja. Not one. We're not allowed to. What I say? Like, what is up with this RNG right now? We're still gonna Hydro Cannon because I still believe we outspeed. And I'll just go for. I'm just gonna Air Slash down. Uh, will Air Slash KO that? This is base 100. I think Air Slash should be able to finish that. Actually, no. We're just gonna go Bleak Wind Storm. That's exactly what we're gonna do. He's gonna Withdraw Tornadus. That's fine. That is totally fine. And Lando comes out here. So Lando comes out here. Not in its better form. And then they finally Thrasilize. Okay. I was kind of waiting on that. So I can Hydro Cannon before I die out here. We knew we were going to go soon, but I don't think we're sitting in a bad spot. I really don't think we're sitting in a terrible spot. And a Ghost type comes out here. I can always go back to my Dark move. I can really rip into that. A Bleak Wind Storm's going to come out here. Nice, lovely damage. We get a crit on the Lando. Can Hydro Cannon KO? You outspeeded me. Luckily, you went after Tornadus. I got speed my Greninja now. Greninja, can you just finish that thing off? Do me a favor here. Finish that thing off. Get it on out of here. Cool. Love you. Love you, Greninja. So Greninja now is forced to uh, lose a turn, which is kind of stinks, right? It kind of stinks, but it was worth it because he was minus one on speed. And he was just going to get after it. So from here, I could bring out Cleaver. And what should I do with Cleaver would be the question. Because I'd rather save my Iron Hands here. Do I go Cleaver or do I just go straight Iron Hands? I mean, he can't Terrastalize. I can Terrastalize, and this would be the Pokemon I would want to Terrastalize. Yeah. I'm going to bring out Iron Hands. Iron Hands coming out here. We're going to Terrastalize them, get rid of the Tornadus, and then it should be an easy game, right? But yo, Grand Ninja really showed out here in match number three, right? One shot in S-Pather, getting rid of that Sandy Shocks. Should have got rid of Sandy Shocks a bit earlier and had full HP, but sometimes it'd be like that. So I'm just going to Terrastalize in the ground just so I'm not weak up against ground moves and electric or and air moves. And we're just going to go into this Tornado. So chances are Tornado's going to Tailwind. He's going to have uh, Landorus do some work. And I'm saying, nah, yo. I'm bringing out my bulky boy. I got vests on him. We came to play. We came to play. We came to play. But Grand Ninja's definitely dead, which is which is sad. He ends up protecting Tornadus. Okay, so we actually could have a little bit of problem. Are you EQing? Oh, he's double protects. That's that's fine. You just let my Grand Ninja wake up, pretty much, right? You just let my Grand Ninja recharge. I'm very fine with that. I don't really understand the protects there. Really weird. Really, really weird. But just in case he wants to go for a. Just in case he wants to go for a Tailwind and then a move, I'm going to Water Shrek and try to finish off that Lando. I don't know if it can, because it is physical attacking. But I think we can get it, if we can hit three times. Come on, hit it again. Let's go, Grand, Yo, Grand Ninja's a dog. Grand Ninja's a dog. Absolutely ripping with three KOs here in match number three. Loving this thing. Loving this thing. Lando faints. What is Tornado's going for? A Bleak Wind Storm. Grand Ninja dies out here. Iron Hands, wrap it up. Wrap it up. Give us that perfect record. Grand Ninja, thanks for popping out. Thanks for doing the heavy lifting. And now Wild Charge flies here. Taking out Tornadus. Grabbing ourselves yet another 3-0 perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0 with Grand Ninja and fully got to showcase this Pokemon. He was hitting like a truck in that third and final battle. One-shotting Espathra. 
getting rid of Tornadus and getting rid of, uh, what was the other one? Sandy Shocks with a Hydro Cannon. I absolutely love them. We also had Tornadus and Cleaver, which are regulation D Pokemon. Doing some work in today's video. Like I said, Tornadus is that Pokemon. So you're going to be seeing it pretty much all over regulation D. But super excited that we got the Showcase Greninja. And I, you guys will definitely be seeing more of them down the road. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.